So I decided to do baking today. And I wanted to make my version of apple crisp. Okay, so this is my ingredients that I am using for my apple crisp. I am using cinnamon, ground, I didn't get too fresh. I am using butter, and just so you know, heads up, it will probably be this whole chunk because you need lots and lots of butter for your apples when you're cooking them down. So, butter, um, and my apples. So, my apples that I use, I will grab one or two, because I don't make a lot, and I don't need a lot of it, um, of baking um, apples. I don't always use them. I really don't, I'm gonna be honest, okay? I don't, but I did grab them for this, so I got two bacon apples. I like mine a little different with more of a sour taste, even though it doesn't really sour taste. I don't know, it's something to do with the taste. To me, it makes no difference, I really don't. I don't particularly like using red apples unless I have to. I have done red apples and done different um, apple crisp with it before. I have done that before. Um, and it turned out really, really delicious and really, really good. So it's up to you. But I'm going to do two of these and two of these. And then, okay, so here is my part of it. Most people like to use some kind of like your traditional like crust and stuff for their apple crisp. Okay, so I have a couple different version ways that I do, virgin ways, <laughs> um, version ways that I do my apple crisp. I do not care for the crust. If you ever see me eat somebody's apple pies or apple whatever, unless, you know, like apple pies, I don't like that crusty taste to it. So I have learned a recipe, I had to come up with a recipe to cooking apple crisp for a large community of people because we had gotten an abundance of donation for with apples and then cookies. <laughs> there was lots and lots of cookies. And I was like, hmm. So I was like, okay, and I was, um, I was in the kitchen. I worked in the kitchen in this particular place. Um, and this community place that I worked in and I was like, what can I make for them? So for dessert, something good and something different. And I did apple crisp. I had cookies though. I had made my crust out of cookies and I took my apples, cut them up, did everything I'm going to do here, except I use cookies on the bottom and then for crumbs. I'm not doing that one this time. I am doing a completely different apple. This time, I am using yummy, gooey, yummy cinnamon rolls. Yes, cinnamon rolls. We are going to line the bottom of our pan with a cinnamon roll dough. And possibly, if I can do it, because I don't have a lot of space, I may even put some, stretch it out, and put it on the top layer of it and let it rise up and make a yummy apple crisp out of cinnamon rolls. So this is the baking challenge today that I am doing. It's not really a challenge that anyone gave me. It is my challenge to you to try something that's super good. Um, yeah, so we're gonna get started. And I'm going to try to do this as quickly as possible. Now, most people, everybody has their own ways that they like to cook their apples. Some people want to just cook it in their, um, in the oven when they're making. I recommend not to do that when you're doing this because obviously you can only leave them on for so long. And then your apples may not be, um, ready for what, you know, however you like it. Like most people want it softer. Some people like a little crunch. It depends on the person. So. I do mine on the stove. 
Plus, that way, you know, you get it on there anyways, you're booking everything in there. I don't know. I've just seen so many different things where they put it in a bowl, mix all their stuff in it, and then take it and scoop it in to their stuff and then make it kind of like an apple pie. But I do it different. I like to cook it down. It's less time. Um, so, yeah. So, that's what we're going to do. So, I'm going to try to cut my apples. They're, they're already ready to go. Oh, I forgot to show you. I got um, some ginger. I got this thing of ginger. I was like, I seen it, and then something come to mind, like, ooh, grab a piece of ginger. And I'm like, I haven't used ginger in a long time. What am I going to do with it? So doing this, I'm just going to a little ginger into um, when I'm mixing this, maybe for a little different flavor. I really don't know what all the sh with the sugars and the stuff if it's really going to taste, but I'm going to try it anyway. So I'm just... I'm just going to cut pieces of it and put it in there. I'm just going to try it for um, something new and see if I even taste it in there. Maybe it's the aroma. I don't, I really don't know why it's used in this. Um, I know it can be used like for like chicken dinners and stuff like that. I think I would use it for something like a, a chicken meal of some sort, even turkey for like the aroma. But to me, the smell of the ginger is, I don't know, it's just different. Um, so I'm only going to add just a tiny, tiny bit of this stuff because I don't think it smells like true ginger and I'm hoping I grab the right thing. God only knows, you know, how to kill the ginger. She could have grabbed something that, that ain't what it says, but I'm pretty sure it's what it is, this ginger root. But I am going to make sure, I got my chopping board out for this, I get this super small because I do two pieces of ginger. No ma'am, no thank you. Um, so I'm going to try to do this as small as possible. Okay, so I'm going to take it and I'm going to put it in my pot. And we're going to get on. Ah! My apple! Ah! an apple I need on my apples. I need on my apples. Okay, so I'm going to cut this up. It seems like I'm having difficulties. It's not this. It, it, it's just me. I'm like, ooh, I'm weak today. I can't get it. Like, mm. So, anyways, this knife is actually phenomenal. Like, I really don't have to normally put, like, too much pressure on anything. Like, it just slices through. It's like, it's great. You can, like, barely see the blade on it. And it's really awesome. And I cannot tell you what the name of it is because I forgot and it's my roommate's. But it is like super awesome. And I would definitely, definitely get me a set of these. I'm going to find out what it is when I get into my own apartment because I really like these. And they're so cute. So anyways, okay, so I'm going to cut these up and cut them up in small squares because of how you're making it. It's not like um, apple pie where you need to have it large. I like mine a little bite size. Um, bites. I don't need that piece. Okay, I'm going to try to do this as quickly as possible. And I might not talk. Just give me a minute. And like the smaller you get it too, um, the less time that it takes to cook. I'm going to go ahead and get the scoop in here. Normally, I like to get my butter and everything going first, um, but I did not do that because I need this area, and it'll be, like, hot, so. So, I am going to hurry up and do this. Yes, I do this my way. And I school, somebody's like, oh, that's not the right way. I am trying to do proper... But I don't, you know, I don't care. I, I am doing this my way. It's like, my way. Okay, my way. So, okay. So, I have this. That was the cooking one. The baking apple. And this is going to be a Granny Smith. I think this one. It, 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 the Granny Smith apple. Um, that sweet, tarty flavor that I like. So, I'm doing one of each. Actually, I'm probably going to do two of each. Um, cause I think I can, I have plenty of room to do both of my apples. I forgot about two of them. And I'm not going to make like a super small portion. I was going to. 
I'm like, how do I make this for like a single person? Um, because I'm eating it by myself. My roommates might eat it. Maybe I think my roommate's daughter might eat some of this because I told her about it and she's like, oh, that sounds good. And okay, so you can't have apple crisp, apple anything actually, um, without what? What do we normally eat with it? Normally have ice cream. So I went and got these, those, no, you know those little tiny like ice cream servings? I got those so we can like make your own little serving and get you some ice cream. I was like, ooh, I am gonna be doing some dessert this week. And I am going to get up out of this bed because you know we're still in that coronavirus thing. And I am gonna get up out of the bed. And I am going to make me some dessert. I haven't done my dessert at all. I, I I got some seeds up in here, um, but it's gonna cook down. I ain't worried about it. Ain't gonna hurt nothing. But I mean, like the old days. But anyways, so I cut this out. I forgot to cut that part off of there. To be quite honest. Uh oh. <laughs> so I cut this up. Get this in here. And um, get it going. Um, I kind of I was gonna shut my camera. You know, I've been having problems with this camera. I just got this is a new one, a new phone. So every so many months from the um, company that I use, which I love. Don't get me wrong. I mean, they they are really great. Like the their their you know I'm not gonna say their phones, but but their stuff that they do, um, they're really cool. And I switched over to them too from another company that I, I actually really liked and I had been with for a while. Um, but my phone, I, I just got my last phone like so many months ago. And I had never went through so many phones before. And you know, I used to get on to my kids telling them they couldn't have a phone because, or I think when, when I finally got one, one of them, then they like lost it or something or broke it. I got so mad. I said, you can't be going through phones. I don't even go through phones. And now I'm with these companies <laughs> and I get the phones and of course the, the program does a phone I guess, I don't know. And I'm going through phones and I'm like, oh my god. I feel like a darn hypocrite but I obviously didn't know like certain things about it because I was using a different company actually, the one that I had gotten. I won't mention any names because I don't know if I'm allowed but let's put it this way. Hmm, these are good. I was used to using that one, so it was, you know, it was good for me. It worked. But, obviously, you can't afford phones, right? So, the company I go through makes it easier to replace your phone. It really does, because if something happens to it, like, mine's always breaking. Always breaking on me. It just, like, freezes up or starts glitching. It doesn't work right. And I'm like, what the crap? I think I broke my screen, like, after I had gotten, like, when I had switched companies. I had broken, I literally, I just got my phone, and I didn't have my screen protector on it yet, I guess that like taught me about it, and, uh oh, and uh, I broke my phone, and I was like, oh my god, so that was like the first thing, and then, I had like, I don't know, like it froze up, it kept something to do with like two full, I don't know what it was, but it was like driving me crazy, and I'm like, what the crap? So, they were like, they're the same way as this one. I mean, you know, they, they have good deals and different things and stuff. And I really don't want to say anything bad because I never had any problems with it before. And I guess it's like an, a program thing to help, which is really, really phenomenal. Like, it's really cool. Um, okay, so I still have, um, I don't I don't think I'm going to have enough room. I don't know. I don't want to make too many and make this piled up too much. But I still have half of a green apple. And I still have a whole another baking apple. And this is what I already have. Like my pot is literally almost full. And um, I'm gonna be putting this on top of the top of it. Um, so I'm not gonna overfill it. Now if I was making a larger pan, cause normally like, like this is the pan that I'm using. I'm just using a normal, ooh, water, um, squared one this time. Um, normally the ones I use is like a little bit longer so it gives it more room. So I didn't even think about that. Um, so that's why I get the amount of apples that I use for it. Um, so I'm not going to use this one. Um, and I'm not going to use this half. I'm just going to like eat it or something. And, um, okay. So that 
that is done. Apples are done. I have a banana still sitting over here. I was going, I came from the produce and I'm like, I really need my potassium because you know I've been home. And I'm like, I need some potassium. And I got one single banana and I forgot to eat my banana. <laughs> And it's been sitting here. And of course, earlier I had made um, dinner, my dinner um, with the deer hamburgers and stuff. So obviously I'm too full to eat um, my banana right now. So I have a banana over here. So maybe I'll eat it for breakfast as soon as I get up. Because I kind of wake up with that nausea going on in the morning. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, maybe I'll, I need to eat that in the morning. Okay. So I have um, those ingredients so far in there. And I'm going to go ahead and turn on my stove and I am going to go ahead I have the Amish butter um, it's real thick butter and I love it and it come from the produce store um, they have different butters and stuff and I'm like oh cool um, I am not going to cut this up you know some people take time to cut it I'm not doing it it will melt I am going to try to school it down to the bottom there um, I may have to add more butter because, you know, this stuff takes lots of butter. But since I'm baking it, I thought I probably won't need too much. And I'm putting it on top of um, my cinnamon rolls. So, okay, we live normal. Um, so, anyways, okay, I am got this on. I am going to go ahead and probably just go ahead and add the sugar in it because that way it's all like cooking down and doing what it's supposed to do and there's another ingredient that I use just for just a little bit just a little bit is my heavy whipping cream some people don't use it but I'm using it just for a liquid to put in here for it to summer that's why I'm using it and it's creamy and it's a dessert um, filling and it's really good and then obviously my butter and I think I'm gonna grab out some of my butter because I really don't think I'm going to have enough room. I, I really don't. Um, I have like my own little shelf over here. And I'm, I'm going to be making some Zupa sometime this week. I'm going to do Zupa. Zupa! I can't wait. So I have my kill over here. And garlic is trying to fall out of my refrigerator. Okay. So I'm going to add some more butter to this. I'm hoping this comes out. I haven't eaten this one in a long time and it comes to mind and I'm like, okay, what am I going to use for my crust? Because I don't like regular crust and I do not like certain things. Harvest. So this was my best option. Okay, so I'm going to do another good chunk of this and get this melted in here. I'm going to get this stirred up. And I'm going to put my butter in because this stuff does definitely, definitely, definitely melts pretty quick. If I can get it in here without it falling out like it did earlier. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and try to get butter melted and I'm going to go ahead and add and I forgot to put my this in here I add just just a dab there's like tiny 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 bit just for liquid and my apples at the bottom I've got the butter I am mixing everything in here I'm trying to get all my butter melted and while that's doing that, I'm going to go ahead and add, some people do this, some people don't. Um, I'm going to add some sugar to it. Um, I do it because of the sweetening of it. And obviously this is not a very healthy way of doing this. Um, I'm sure I can come up with healthy ways, like if I was on like a healthy, 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 healthy kick. Um, but I'm going to try to do this as healthy. You know, a lot of people are like, oh, it's not healthy because you have to put a lot of sugar I'm not going to add as much sugar as some people do. I am going to need to try to keep it as a minimum. And to me, like, that little bit is a good minimum for um, maybe just a dab. Um, that's not even, that's not even half a cup. I'm not, I'm not doing, like, an abundance. Now, if I was making a large um, 
portion you may definitely see me put more in there obviously for that because I'm making more um, but for this little bit I am not adding too much sugar to it because obviously I don't need it um, okay so the other sugar obviously that goes into it would be brown sugar um, and I'm using light brown sugar um, so I will be adding some of this to it and try to get this all melted down Make sure it's nice and soft. I use more cheese like a redneck. It's an Abigail thing. I'm gonna try to get this in here. And you know, I used to have so many problems trying to get this in there. One time I like exploded and I'm like, if I get that on camera, oh lord, Jesus, everybody would be laughing. Okay, so I am just I'm gonna measure it with my hand. Now I'm gonna try to keep this at a minimum too. Because sometimes I get carried away with this one. Um, I don't know why, but I do. Um, but I'm not, I'm not going to add too much. I'm just keeping it as a minimum too. Okay, so we're going to start off that way. I've been learning, I have learned big portion so much. Mid portion a little bit. I don't want it too sweet either. I want to be able to taste it and it be nice and healthy and tasteful. So, yeah. Okay, so... Put that in there and now I am going to add some cinnamon to it. Now, I definitely may be adding a little bit more cinnamon um, than usual because obviously that's what gives it the... Um, but the bad thing is considering that there is cinnamon in this but it's going to cook down. But obviously we're going to be using cinnamon rolls we gooey cinnamon rolls and drizzling over and together and it's gonna be so good and yeah this is this is this is a good dessert okay so and i'm using my little handy dandy knife because i forgot to grab out a spoon okay so i don't know if you can see how this is already liquefied i have not added i haven't even added my cream to it yet um, and you've seen, I only used a dab bit of water and the sugar, it's the sugar, <laughs> this is the, between the butter and the sugar and, um, yeah, didn't need much. Um, so I'm going to let that try to boil. I'm not going to cook it, um, for a long, long period of time. Some people like to do it a long, long period of time. I am not because I still want it to have that um, that that crunch to it because I'm going to be popping it in the mic and the microwave in the oven um, for this to cook over it and I think these only take like 13 minutes um, so it's not going to be too long in there um, so it's just enough to cook it down a little bit get the flavor in it it's obviously the flavor is going to be um, with um, with the cinnamon rolls um, here is the kicker sometimes you know normally with the crisp when you do like the cookies or the graham crackers or however you decide to make it and with it and it crisp up um that car like car caramelizing um you, you do the liquid when you do it right but the thing is, is since i'm putting it on here i'm going to probably have to drain out a majority amount of the liquid only so it does not ruin the actual ideal of apple cinnamon crisp with cinnamon rolls inside wrapped inside the cinnamon roll um so we don't really want to overkill the crisp of the inside of um the cinnamon rolls how we're going to be doing it um there will still be some liquid but the fact that it's not going to be in there long enough i don't want to mess with it and i don't want it to end up too gooey like i really don't want it to end up too gooey so anyway, so we're letting this boil and um, simmer. And while this is doing that, um, we are gonna end up um, going ahead and starting um, the rolls, like the roll process of what I'm gonna do. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna do with that. 